Well, let's go ahead and take a realistic look at parenting during a snow day. Kayla was unable to be with us in person due to her son's daycare being canceled. We have all been there before, haven't we? But of course, she documented their day for our enjoyment and this Kidding with Kayla. Good morning. The time is 6 a.m. and my son is refusing to go back to sleep. Why? Because it's a snow day. If it were a school day, he'd be impossible to wake up. <laughs> I love that for me. According to meteorologist Randy Allis, eating snow will not kill you. Just make sure it's not yellow. You want to try it? Yeah. All right. What do you think? Play. This just in, we are going to play the Spider-Man matching game yet again. How many times are we going to play this today? A million. A million. <laughs> in other news, I've had to reheat the same cup of coffee multiple times. Authorities are working to determine whether my son is going to take a nap today. No! The time is now 3 p.m. and we are currently watching Ryan's World. I want to watch Bluey. Can we watch Bluey? No. I can confirm this is quite the workout. Wow, snow is heavy. <laughs> oh, it just fell apart. Now tell me, Frosty, can you babysit Alan while I go watch some Netflix shows? I thought not. Back to you. Oh, Kayla, my friend, first of all, you've been hazed by the winter weather and by Alan as well. Are you holding up today, good sister? Listen, there are reports I've yet to confirm that upstairs my child is finally napping, which is why I'm enjoying a cup of warm coffee at the moment and relaxing. It's quiet. All is well. Yeah, I'm about to say, you know, lower your voice. You want to just get, <laughs> we the toddler is taking a nap. Absolutely. I mean, my question is, do your muscles hurt? Because between the Frosty the Snowman extravaganza running after Alan to try to get the snow to taste and then just having to be all around the house. I know you're sore. Okay, listen, my house is a disaster right now. <laughs> and can we just talk about how good Frosty looked? I listen, mean, I feel like <laughs> great did a pretty good job. I did not know just how much work building a snowman was. For some reason, I've blocked that out of my memory from childhood. <laughs> and I had to lift that, that second piece. And I was like, I don't think I can do this. I was trying to roll it on there. And Alan was just watching me. And I'm sure my neighbors were laughing from their windows. It was an experience for sure. <laughs> you know, Kayla, we got to talk about this. So many parents were like, man, my kids will never know what it's like to have to, you know, watch actually like the news on TV to see if their schools were like scrolling on the bottom. Now, you know, we have the app and we're sending push alerts and they can check apps. But nobody ever talks about how that is not a day off for the parents. It's definitely not. And a lot of parents, I actually went to my social media and asked parents, you know, what they're doing, if they're experiencing a snow day, a lot of them work from home because, you know, COVID obviously allowed a lot of people to do that hybrid schedule. And working from home when your child is home, I've done it before and it's a whole different kind of pain. Lots of screen time dependency, they said. Um, you know, you just, it's, it's survival mode at that point because you're trying to get work done, but you're also entertaining your children. So a lot of Indiana parents are experiencing that right now, but then a lot of them are also having fun. I really want to take Alan sledding at some point. He's never been. So mm. that's what a lot of parents said they would be doing. Um, one person said, and I thought this was really cool, that every time her mom would like get a hotel room for cheap and let them swim on snow days in a hotel, which I thought was really unique. Mm. And then, you know, other people build, you know, forts in their living room, have hot chocolate, have a movie party, bake cookies. Um, I brought some snow inside in a bucket and let him have like a little sensory bin with it. So then he's not too cold outside, but yeah, lots to do. And honestly, like I still to this day have vivid memories mm. of my snow days. And this is just really cool. Not everybody gets to experience snow depending on where you live. And I'm grateful that Indiana, you know, as long as there's not too many of these days, obviously mm -hmm. I really 
enjoyed being here with Alan and experiencing the whole thing. Well, Kayla, thank you for letting us experience it with you because this was the cute snow. Keep it cute, Indiana, right? Keep it cute. Thank you, Kayla. <laughs>